Welcome back to Think Thrice Problem Solving. Today we're going to be solving a fun little geometry problem. So let's take a look at it. In this problem we have a circular sector and inscribed within the circular sector is another circle. And our goal is can we calculate the radius of the inscribed circle given the radius of the larger circle and the angle alpha. So, if you'd like to give it a try, go ahead and pause the video and try it out on your own. Otherwise, let's jump straight into a solution. Okay, so what I'd like you to notice is that we have uh, this radius. So first, I notice that the radius is going to be perpendicular because the circle is inscribed within this sector. So that means that the line is only going to be touching in that exact one spot, so it's going to be perpendicular to our circle. Additionally, if I was to draw the radius through my sector, going from the top to the bottom, then I know a few things. So I know that this guy and this guy are both going to have a length r, so that's my radius. And then I'm going to have this other guy going from the top down, and his is going to be some length b. So I don't know exactly what that length is. And then because of symmetry, I know that the length, or the uh, size of my angle here, is going to be alpha divided by 2. Okay, so I have a few different measurements, um, and that's actually going to be all of the variables that we're going to need to come up with here. So what I'd like to do first is let's look at this angle alpha over 2, and let's notice that sine of alpha over 2 is equal to r so opposite, divided by r plus b. Okay, uh, And now what I can do here is I can solve so we get a little bit more information. What I'd like to have is I'd like to eliminate this b. So let's solve this and we'll get r plus b times sine of alpha over 2 is equal to r. Uh, r plus b is equal to r over sine of alpha over 2, so that b is equal to r over sine of alpha over 2 minus r. Okay, so now I have b equal to this expression here. So this is going to be a useful expression that we're going to come back to in a minute. What I need now is, now I need to figure out what is little r. So let's look at this vertical section here. So this vertical line we just made, and from that line we can see that big R is equal to B plus 2R. So 2 times the radius plus little b. So let's go ahead and substitute this equation we just came in here. We're going to end up getting this is equal to R over sine of alpha over 2 minus R plus 2R. Okay, um, so we notice that we have minus r and plus 2r, so that's just going to become r. So let's rewrite this. So we have big R is equal to r, and let's just factor out that r. Now it's going to be 1 over sine of alpha over 2 minus or plus r, uh, plus 1 because I factored out the r. Okay, so 1 over sine alpha, so uh, because I just did minus r plus 2r, so that's just plus 1r, and I factor out the r. Okay, so now I can solve for r, and r is going to be equal to big R divided by 1 over sine of alpha over 2 plus 1, which I can rewrite, and my final solution here is going to be the radius is equal to r divided by 1 plus, and 1 over sine is equal to cosecant, so it's going to be 1 plus cosecant of alpha over 2. And that's our solution. So this was a nice short one today. Hope you enjoyed working through that problem with me. Maybe you got it on your own. I hope you did. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have a problem that you'd like me to work through, go ahead and submit it, and it could be in one of our next videos. Otherwise, as you're working through problems on your own, think once, think twice, and if you get stuck, think thrice.